Hello, fabulous Leo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of May 2020, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. Well, it is going to be by the time we get to the middle of the month that fully four planets will be retrograde. And this adds to an overall somewhat intense reflective energy that a whole lot of us are going to be feeling. And that includes you as well. It will be right around May the 7th that we are going to have a full moon. And this full moon is taking place at the very foundation of your chart. This is considered the most private part of your sky. And it is here that you are invited to reflect more deeply on your past, to understand where it is that you have been, where it is that a deeper forgiveness needs to be had. Now this element of forgiveness is that much more amplified by the fact that this full moon will be making a supremely harmonious connection with Neptune. It is also standing across the sky from Mercury, so there's a sense of going back and forth, perhaps conversation, communication, or even negotiation that is part of helping you to understand your roots more deeply. This part of the sky also connects to all matters related to home and family of origin. For some, this is going to be a time when you are considering and contemplating changes on the home front. If it is that you'd been hoping for some positive developments around your home, it can be this full moon that brings that together for you. And this may also be a time that brings greater focus on your family of origin, your parents in particular. Now, regardless of what arises, it does look like there are factors there that make sense, if you will. It's like you're filled with faith and belief and uh, inner peace. And at the same time, though, there is a sense of needing to take other perspectives into consideration as part of understanding not only developments now, but the best way forward for you. It will be as we navigate two weeks later, right around the 22nd is when we will have this month's new moon. This new moon will be taking place in a very friendship oriented part of the sky. Now, ordinarily, I would say this is a very social energy and it can be. But of course, as I'm recording this, a whole lot of the planet is on some form of social distancing or social isolation. Now what this new moon says that there is a desire to connect with others, but a supremely harmonious connection with Saturn does say that you are also taking a responsible and mature approach. Now this part of the sky also connects to group endeavors. So this may be where you are invited to participate in a larger project with others. And it may very well be your one-on-one -on -one connection with another person whether they recommend you or whether it is through them that you end up securing an opportunity that seems to move you towards not only a sense of stability, but also larger success. For some Leos out there, this can feel like a window where there is truly big opportunity that finds you now, that helps you to feel more secure about the future that you're moving towards. Now, where it comes to matters of love, there are a few big things happening in the middle of the month. Venus is going to go retrograde. I spoke all about this in the Venus retrograde special horoscope. So I'll just link to that in the description below. But specifically for you and for this month, what makes this time special is that right around the middle of the month in the days following that full moon I mentioned, well, that is when Saturn will stand still in your opposite sign and go retrograde. It's important to pay attention to what is happening for you in the context of love at this time. On the one hand, it is a reality check, if you will. But part of the reality may very well be you being honest with yourself about where you are in love and why and how it is that you do want to move forward from here. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new with that, Venus retrograde, there is a lot of hopeful yet uncertain, yet not everything being as it seems energy overall in the air. And then you have this energy of honesty, of seriousness that starts to take focus for you. That new moon right around the 22nd, speaking with that Saturn does suggest that you are connecting with other people. You're either getting insights into where you are in love and why you're having some real honest moment with yourself this month. 
as to what it is you want your future in love to be, what needs to change to get you there. But it may also be the case that you feel a genuine connection with someone, especially around that new moon, someone that you may already have a connection with through friends. Now, for those of you who are just starting to date somebody, it is going to be Saturn changing directions that helps you to get a sense of who this person really is and whether or not this feels like an honest and genuine match for you. It does look like a turning point. And of all the signs out there, I do think where it comes to someone you're just starting to know, this is one of those all or nothing kind of moments that will help you to decide whether or not you want to move forward with them. And for those of you in an established bond, I do like Saturn in your opposite sign because I feel like this deepens commitments and the truth of the commitment you share is going to come forward in a very notable way right around the changing of direction of Saturn. And so this is a time for you to either realize the depth of your commitment, the depth of understanding there or where it is that maybe some things need to be worked on, but the willingness certainly is there to continue to fortify the bond. What I love about this month for you, well, I do love that very magical full moon. It does in some way help you to feel more at home. It brings you home in some way. At the same time though, this is a Venus retrograde month and a very confusing type of Venus retrograde month at that. And so at least where it comes to the people that you're aligned with, your friendships, all may not be as it seems. And it does look like there's a lot of longing there to be connected with others, but just know that you are not alone in that. The overall reflective quality of this time is going to invite us to go within, to be more honest with ourselves, but thankfully, it is in that space that you are not only at ease, but you truly, with a month like this, are not alone. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week. Unlimited access to special horoscopes like the Saturn special horoscopes, the Venus retrograde special horoscopes, and so much more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.